Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to Daily Prophetic. So glad everyone is tuning in. So let me know where you're watching from, what nation, what state, what city you're watching from, what you're tuning in from. I'm going to pray for us as we get going. And this is one of those words that I believe that if you're watching this, that the Holy Spirit has led you here for a reason. I believe this is a very weighty word that needs to be shared and something that many people have been facing in this time specifically. So if you're watching this, I'm trusting that the Holy Spirit led you here for a reason. So let's just pray while people are tuning in. And I just want to be used by the Lord, be a pure vessel for the Holy Spirit to minister through right now. So Jesus, we thank you for every single person watching right now, every single person that was led here by the Holy Spirit to watch this video. Father, I pray that they will be able to receive it, that they will be able to be edified by this, that they will be encouraged by this word. And Father, also that you will break off any demonic attacks upon their life right now in this season. Maybe like they're praying against the ceiling, like they're struggling to draw near to you. Father, I pray that you break that off right now in Jesus' name and draw close to them. Father, I also pray to just be a pure vessel for your glory, a pure vessel for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Guys, I want to share a vision with you, something that the Lord showed me during prayer just about an hour ago. So this is as fresh as it gets. And I wasn't even planning on doing a live stream today, but I want to share this with you and I want to pray with you afterwards. So what the Lord has shown me is I saw like this huge room, this huge room full of God's people. And in this room, in this room, I saw like a thick mist, like a thick cloud in this room and the people that were in this room, it was like your your vision was obstructed. People were bumping into each other. People were just stumbling around. And what the Lord spoke to me through this vision in this room, this this thick fog mist cloud in this room, the first thing was that people were struggling to draw near to the Lord. It's, it's the moment you start praying, the moment you start reading your Bible, it's like there's a tiredness that comes over you. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to explain this the best way possible, but the moment you want to sit down with the Lord, the moment you want to start praying, you fall asleep. Even though you've had enough sleep, even though it's, it's in the middle of the day, but the moment that you want to pray, the moment that you want to pick up your Bible and draw near to the Lord and start reading the Word of God, Something comes over you. It's like this, the mist, this fog. I don't know what it is, but I believe it is of the devil. And it's, it's like you're struggling to, to draw near to the Lord. Like your prayers are hitting a ceiling is what I'm seeing. It's, it's, and in this vision, like as you pray, your prayers aren't going further than this fog cloud that is, that is clouding your vision, that's clouding your passion, clouding your fire to draw near to the Lord. And what I saw is the redemptive power of Jesus Christ. I saw how the fog is clearing, how God is clearing the way for you to draw near to the Lord. He also gave me a, a scripture verse in Proverbs 29, 18. Proverbs 29, 18. Comment that down below. P-R-O-V 29, 18. That says, where there is no vision, the people perish. Where there is no vision, the people perish. And what I saw about this, this mist cloud, yes, it is like you're praying against the ceiling, like a tiredness that comes over you as you want to draw near to the Lord, which is completely abnormal for you. And then I also saw how this cloud was an attempt of the enemy to cloud your vision. To cloud the vision that God has given you. Like it, I, I just strongly sense that there are people watching and you're asking this question of, Lord, where are you sending me? What, what, is, what is the plan that you have for my life? And that is one of the, the key questions that you have in this season. 
trying to discern, God, where are you sending me? What is your plan with my life? And I even see a discouragement settling in. I even see a frustration setting in because you pray, you pray, you pray, and it feels like your prayers aren't going further than the white ceiling. And you're seeking the Lord for vision. You're seeking the Lord for answers. But it's like you just cannot penetrate this fog bank, this mist bank that is that is all around you, this spiritual mist bank. And you guys, I don't know if you've ever driven in, in a mist bank, but here in South Africa, we get it quite often, especially in the winter months, you know, just before it heats up. The mist can be so thick that you can't see a foot or two in front of you. It's actually dangerous driving in those situations. And I feel like what God is highlighting in this time is that it is dangerous to do life without having vision. It's dangerous to do life without having vision. But I saw how the sun of righteousness will rise over you. And the moment that the sun rises, the mist disappears. The mist melts away in that time. And I saw how the sun of righteousness, who is Jesus Christ, how he will rise upon your life and the mist bank will disappear. No longer will your prayers hit the ceiling. No longer will, will you feel that you cannot draw near to the Lord. No longer will you struggle to, to have intimacy with the Lord. And I'm going to pray for this afterwards, that you will encounter Jesus like never before, that you will break through this mist bank, that God is clearing the way for you to pass through, to cross over into intimacy with the Lord and restore the vision that God has given you to give you eyes to see and ears to hear once again. And that's I believe that if you are led here in this video, this is such an important video for you to receive this prayer as well right now. Not just explaining what I'm seeing, but also receiving the prayer that God has for you right now. I want to go over and I want to pray into this. I want to pray that God will will shine his light of righteousness upon your life and completely obliterate that mist, that cloud around you, that fogginess all around you in Jesus' name. So, Father, I thank you for every single person listening. Lord, I pray that you will touch them. Father, I pray that let your righteousness, let your light come and let your light shine upon their lives to completely take away this, this demonic mist bank that is forming around them. Father, I pray that you will break open, that it no longer will be a brass heaven to what they pray against. Father, I pray that you break that ceiling, break that ceiling over our lives. Father, I pray for open heavens in our houses. I pray for open heavens, open heavens in our prayer closets, in our quiet time with him. Thank you, Jesus, for that. I pray for open heavens. Father, I pray that angels may ascend and descend upon your people's lives. Everyone listening right now, that angels will ascend and descend upon your life in Jesus' name, that you will have angelic encounters, that you will see the risen Christ, that you will have encounters with the Lord while you're reading Bible, while you're praying, that God will make himself manifest to you in this time. Father, that is my prayer for every single person listening right now. Every single person listening right now, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you restore vision in their life as well. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Guys, this is crazy. Like, <laughs> you can probably see this. Why I'm sitting so close to the camera is because there is literally a, a cloud bank all around us and above us. That's why it's so dark right now in this video. So I do apologize, but this is just crazy. I was talking about a mist bank, talking about fog, and now all of a sudden it is like crazy overcast where I am right now. Like you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> this is just crazy, honestly. So that's why I'm sitting so close to the camera. So I do apologize if you cannot see me, but please hear me. Please just receive that prayer and hear, at least hear what I'm saying. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I know that even if this is just confirming the word right now, 
Jesus, we thank you. We love you. Glorify your name. And Father, we just break off every single demonic attack over every single person listening right now. Break it off in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you right now. Every single person listening right now, receive that. And Father, I pray that they will have even an encounter, a God moment, a, a prophetic dream today, tonight, that they will have that as a confirmation for what is happening right now in the spirit. So Father, I thank you. I glorify your name. I lift up your name, Jesus. I give you all the praise. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, before this mist bank swallows me up, I'm going to tune off and I'll see you then in a few days time for another video. Share this video with someone that needs to see this. I believe this is such a important word that needs to go out. Listen to this video again if you have to. Receive this prayer and and guys, don't take nonsense from the enemy. Okay, if he's trying to cloud your vision, if he's trying to block your prayers, whatever, do not take nonsense from the enemy. He is a defeated foe in Jesus name. Love you all. See you then in a few days time for another video.